Hey guys, uh, so it's Dale staying here with Sunrise and Hydro Gravity. You know, through this IPL, I'm actually going to do this little segment where we go down memory lane and I tell you a bunch of stories about my career and things that have happened throughout the IPL and throughout my cricketing career that are interesting stories that are probably better saved for a book, but I always feel they worth telling anyway. <laughs> It starts with, a, with an individual that I, I go way back with. I actually met this, this individual close to when I was about maybe nine or ten, I would say. And um, that's when our, our paths first crossed. And through those years, we started to play a lot more against each other and we'd see each other more often. And ultimately, we would end up making our first class debuts together, our test debuts together, and we'd become really good friends and we would share a cricketing path and journey uh, for many, many years playing for South Africa. And that gentleman is Mr. A.B. de Villiers. Now this story goes way back actually. One of the first incidents that happened was in 2012. I was playing for Deccan Chargers at the time, probably bowling with some good speed. There was a period there from about 2011, maybe 2010 to 2014, 2015, when I was probably at my peak in terms of speed and really felt like I had things I had things going really well for myself and um, I met this this gentleman at the Chinnaswamy Stadium in Bangalore and it was a big contest Amy de Villiers versus myself and he got he got the upper hand of me in 2012 fast forward another two years I think I went for about 20 something probably 24 I'm going to over exaggerate here and say that it felt like it was 40 but it was probably somewhere around 24 23 um, fast forward two more years and same venue, same batsman, this competition, this rivalry is set. Pretty much the same over, I'd say it's 19th or 18th, maybe even the 20th over of the game. Same situation, same scenario, Amy de Villiers versus myself. I ran in and I felt like this time I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna knock him over and I don't remember the particulars in that game. I think. He hit one out to long, to, to deep and wicket, which should have been one. He was batting with Mitchell Stark. And uh, there was a little fumble. Chinnaswamy is actually a really small stadium, so if you do manage to get the ball out to deep and wicket, there should always only be one. It's a little fumble. A.B. de Villiers, quick on his feet, turn around. He runs back for two. And the rest is history. I'll go for another 24, 23, whatever it was in the over. Uh, those are the kind of things you cannot escape. A.P. de Villiers is one of the best batsmen in the world. It will go all over Instagram, it goes viral, and you just cannot escape it. We fast forward another few years, one more year as a matter of fact, 2015. We're in Hyderabad, and this time, I'm not the bowler. <laughs> Moses Enriquez is the bowler, A.P. de Villiers comes out, and I'm pretty certain it was his first ball that he was facing. I haven't bowled to him, he hits it. I'm at long on. I go charging around the boundary and I have a good catch on the boundary. Had I dropped the catch or missed the catch, it would have probably gone for six. And I take this catch, I throw the ball up and I celebrate like I am bowler myself that I've just gotten this man out. And uh, I remember meeting him after the, the game and he was, he was actually upset with me and he was asking me why I was so excited about this catch. And um, I remember just telling him just, you know, Whatever, I've just gotten you out. You, you must deal with it. Well, as, as, a, as a fielder, I've just gotten you out. But uh, the more I think about it, it was just, it was a whole bunch of years of, um, of those years of having to live in the torment of A.B. de Villiers taking me down. And in some way, I played a part in getting him out. Um, it was, it's a great story. And actually, the, the, last, the last ball that I ever bowled to A.B. In, uh, in a sporting event, we were playing in Cape Town. It was during the South African 2020 competition in the Zanzi League. And uh, the last ball that I bowled, I bowled a semi-short ball, kind of skidded on the top edge of it, and I had important bowl. So effectively, I have the last laugh. But in history, A.B. de Villiers has definitely got the better of me in the IPL. So that's the that's the first little story that I'd like to share with you guys. And um, as we go through this IPL, I'll have a few more and we can drift back into the past and the history and show you and share a few more 
insights into how my career went and the rivalries that I've had in it. Yeah.